So today we are at St. Martha's Secondhand Treasures. This is a thrift store that I don't come to very often, mainly because the shoe section is very small and they're only open limited hours and limited days, but they do have a ton of knickknacks here in this store. This is the Christmas section. You guys can see it's just filled with goodies. I did end up grabbing two little ornament grab bags that were just kind of full of random ornaments. And I'm gonna show you guys what I found in those little bags later on in this video some really good stuff i think um, i also came across these vintage vinyl strawberry placemats with the matching coasters i picked those up for three dollars everything in this thrift store is half off all of the time um, that's just kind of how they run it so it's always half off of all of the prices i did feel a little overwhelmed in here because there is just so much to look at and I was working on a limited time frame because I had a couple other thrift stores I wanted to head to this day. So I was feeling like I was definitely probably missing a few things here or there. Um, but this section that I'm in right now is a lot of the kitchen stuff. I found this really pretty starfish glass bowl that kind of stood out to me, but this isn't worth very much as far as resale value, um, but I thought it was really pretty. I ended up putting it back though. And I'm just kind of, you know, browsing through all of this stuff. I'm gonna share a haul with you guys at the very end. We're also gonna pop in another thrift store as well in this video where I find the coolest set of glasses. I can't wait to show you guys though. It's probably my favorite thing from this whole day of thrifting. Um, they're vintage glasses, so stay tuned for that. And then over here on this wall, they had a ton of the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the like sets of plates and glasses and stuff. I thought this one was really pretty. I love the pattern, but they had this one priced extremely high, so I didn't even bother looking it up. Uh, their prices are very odd in this store. Some stuff is priced like astronomically high, and then other stuff is very reasonable. I spotted these Cariuma Peanuts collaboration sneakers. You guys know how much I love my collabs, so I was super excited initially about these. And then I saw the price. They have them marked at $80, which makes them $40 with their 50% off discount. But unfortunately, that is still too much for resale, so I was so sad, but I had to put those back. I did, however, grab these Olukai. They were in like new condition, and they were only $7, so definitely a score on these and then I came across this pair of vintage fat tongue baby vans or toddler van skateboarding shoes these are possibly the cutest toddler vans I've ever picked up um, definitely very y2k and these were only four dollars after the 50 percent off discount so had to grab those I think I could sell those probably for around 30 and I contemplated getting this vintage Dooney and Burke bag. I really like the pink color. It's very Y2K, early 2000s, which is on trend right now. Um, it was $30, making it $15 after the discount, but I ended up putting it back because it did have some stains on it. So now we're at Savers, one of my favorite thrift stores. And first off in the glass case here, I spotted these Chanel and Prada shoes. I don't know if they were real or not. What do you guys think? If they were real, I definitely missed out because even at those high prices, those would have been an amazing sale. I noticed these really interesting looking like pottery plate things. I have no idea what these were. If you guys know what they are, let me know in the comments down below, but I left them behind because I tried to Google image search them, nothing came up. And then I spotted this glass, this vintage glass potpourri dish with the little bunnies on it. I've sold one of these in the past for $20 on Poshmark. For some reason, I thought $5 was a little too much on this, so I left it behind. But really, $5 into a $20 flip is not terrible, so maybe I should have picked that up. This vintage looking um, music box was really nice, really cool, but unfortunately there was a ton listed and not very many sold, so I had to leave that behind. But here is what I did pick up, you guys. These Thursday moccasin style boots. This is a bolo brand to keep an eye out for. I rarely find this brand, so I was so excited to pick this pair up. They were only $9.79, which is a great deal. These were a smaller size. They were a women's size five, but because they were in such amazing condition and a great price, absolutely had to grab those, could not leave them behind. Now here's my favorite find of the entire day. These were just sitting on the shelf. It was 
four vintage Fenton glass tumblers in this cranberry colorway, the stars and stripes pattern. I'm not a glass expert, but I knew these had to be something. They're all marked Fenton on the bottom. They were $2.49 each. So of course I put all four of those in my cart. Um, there's a pair, a set of four of them listed on eBay right now for over $200 and they are the shorter size tumbler glasses. So I think I really scored with those ones. Um, this is a pair of Sorel Ainsley waterproof boots. I love selling Sorel. These were only $18. And as you can see, they're in amazing condition. Stuck those right in the cart. And then I can't believe I came across this brand again, you guys. I found it for the first time in my last video that I shared with you guys. And I found it again today. Totally different thrift store. This is Staud, S-T-A-U-D. Definitely keep an eye out for this brand, Major Bolo. And these ones have a couple little scratches on the leather you guys can see there, but nothing major. Absolutely grabbed these. They're platform, they're pink, they're giving, you know, like Barbie vibes. So those went in my cart. And then I came across these Coach slide sandals in this beautiful floral pattern. Coach is just the brand in general is selling really well for me right now. So that was a definite yes. This hand carved, hand painted Santa basket is incredible. I could not leave him behind. I tried to Google image search him, nothing came up. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna price him, but I know somebody's gonna love him. He is super cool. I grabbed this gravy pitcher just for myself. It was a little pricey at $10, but this is just for my own kitchen. And then you guys, this is a Teddy scares teddy bear. I know he looks a little creepy. It's based off of some book about, you know, toys getting tossed in the dumpster after kids no longer want them and their experiences in the trash. He had rubber cockroaches in his chest, but those can actually sell for really good money. So keep an eye out. I had to leave these behind. They're so cute. Some little glass or ceramic pig salt and pepper shakers but $6.99 was just way too much or $5.99, whatever it was. I saw some listed around like $10 to $12, but yeah, really sad about leaving those behind. But I did grab this pillow. This is a giant chocolate bar pillow. I thought it was super cool. It was priced at $5. And on my way out, I came across these Lululemon leggings. They were $24.99, but they're my size. They're a houndstooth print and women's clothes were 30% off this day. All right, guys, so I just got back home and I've been going through everything that I picked up today, my whole haul, looking everything up, and I'm really excited. I feel like we did really good today. So I'm gonna lay everything out on the floor and give you guys the full haul because I think there was some things that I didn't get on camera. Um, so stay tuned, let me set that up and I'll show you guys what I picked up. All right, guys, I am so excited to show you guys this haul. So I'm going to start with the like hard goods, non shoes. Well, I'll show you guys all of the shoes next. Um, I do have one clothing item in here and then um, I'll bring the shoes in, swap them out and I'll show you guys those. But first up we have knocking stuff over behind me. This I just picked up. I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna cut these little strings off. It is like a corduroy fabric, but this is a big like a chocolate pillow with a chunk taken out. I tried to Google image this and I couldn't find anything coming up, but it is really, really well made. It's a really nice pillow. I thought it was super fun. It's kind of a larger size pillow too. This was $4.99 and yeah, I just took a chance on this because I think it's super cool. I think somebody will love it. It seems to be really well made and I can't find anything like it online. Okay, next up, um, I did grab two of these San Rio Hello Kitty silk. They're silk pillowcases, which I know a lot of people like because it's supposed to be better for like your skin and your hair to use the silk pillowcases. There is a set of two and they appear to be brand new. They still have like the folds in them, like they were never washed, no stains. These were... $2.50 each, so $4.99, $5 for the set. And I'll probably list them around like $20 for both of them. The Sanrio Hello Kitty stuff just sells super fast for me. So not a huge sale, but you know, it all adds up. This is a pair of 
Lululemon leggings in the herringbone pattern. These are a women's size six. These are in excellent condition. Um, I looked them over. They look like they've hardly been worn. They were on the pricier side, so $24.99. But today at Savers at this thrift store, all of the women's clothing was 30% off. So I think I got these around like $17 and some change. Um, so not too bad. And I saw really good comps for these. I should be able to get $50, $50 plus. There's quite a few that have sold in this pattern. So really excited about those. Okay, let's come over here. Okay, so I had to go grab these little bags real quick to show you. So I did grab two little grab bags at this thrift store. Now this particular thrift store is 50% off everything all the time. So I don't know why they do that, but it is 50% off of all of their prices. So I got one bag for $4 and one of the grab bags for $6. And these all had vintage ornaments in them. So $10 total for all of these. I already picked out the ones that I'm just gonna re-donate. There were some broken ones um, in the bag. I picked all those out. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the ones I'm keeping here. Now, <laughs> let me show you the reason I grabbed each bag because there was quite a few bags to pick from, but this ornament here is the main reason I grabbed the, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I should turn it this way. Yeah, so this is the main reason I grabbed one of the bags here. So if you guys can see on the bottom here, it's a Waterford, Waterford, I don't know if I said that right, um, marked ornament. It's like the egg shell, kind of looking with the little ball on the inside. Now I couldn't find this exact one. It is absolutely beautiful though, but I'm gonna post some comps of similar ones that I found online. Um, I think I can get around $40 or more for this. There is one little flaw though. I noticed when I pulled this out, the little jewel right there has slightly moved over, but I might be able to fix that um, and just stick it back in its rightful place. And then the other grab bag, I grabbed it for this ornament in particular. So this ornament was very intriguing to me. It does look hand painted. It is like a carved wood, beautiful Russian. Look at the little like squirrel here ornament. And I did see the marking on the bottom. I tried looking this up in the store, but I wasn't, um, I wasn't looking it up properly because I couldn't read the letters properly for some reason. Um, when it was in the bag but this is the artist on the bottom i can't find this exact one i did a google image search but i did find some other christmas santas and i'm going to pop those comps up on the screen this is definitely like a artist you want to keep an eye out for okay and then these are just like the extra ornaments that were in the bag it looks like this like blown glass wine bottle um, does sell, not for a whole lot, but I'll go ahead and list it because these are kind of like little freebies and I'll pop those comps up on the screen. This is like a bristle brush little horse. I couldn't find any horse um, ornaments that have sold, but I did find some other animals like a panda. I think there's like, I don't know, a squirrel or something. I can't remember. I looked these up on eBay. Not a ton of money, maybe like five to $12, somewhere in there. But like I said, these are just all extras. I think these two ornaments here are gonna cover the cost of both bags. I think one of them alone will cover the cost and then some. This is like a little paper mache koala bear. Super cute. I don't know if he's supposed to be holding something. He looks like he needs like a tree or something. Maybe like when you hang him, you have him hug your Christmas tree. But I thought that was cute. And then this actually is supposed to go on like a little Santa um, Christmas like display. 
I'll post the picture of it on the screen. I found that out with a Google image search. So this is just like a little piece that's missing the whole rest of the set. So he's probably not worth anything. I may just donate him um, because he's not actually an ornament. And then this is just a beautiful like angel wind chime. Not sure if she's worth anything, probably not much, but I did see one, this exact one, listed on eBay for around $18. So I don't know, I might list her maybe a little bit cheaper than that, like for $10 to $12 and just see if I can get a little bit of money um, from that. And then this wooden rocking horse, like vintage ornament, again, not sure if that's worth anything. I may just kind of collect some random vintage ornaments um, up until, you know, closer to Christmas time and then do like one big lot of them or something like that if they're not worth selling individually. These two are like sequin, possibly handmade. They look handmade, like vintage Christmas present ornaments. This one has a little beaded bow on the top and this one does not. So I don't know if it's missing that. Um, but I don't know if those are worth much. Those might just go either back to donation or in a big lot. Same with these guys, little turtle dove. Not sure if that's worth anything. And then this is like a straw, like Pegasus horse. However, the tail is broken off. I feel like somebody could like glue some yarn on there or something and do like a really pretty like yarn tail. I might do something like that. I don't know. I think that this, I do have some like little leather straps too that I think I can like cut into really thin slices and make like a cute little tail. Um, I don't know. I just think he's super cool and unique. So I might just kind of DIY this and then hang it on my own Christmas tree just to give that a new life. But yeah, so that is it for the Christmas ornaments. These two are the true winners um, out of the set. Okay, so here is a couple other things I grabbed. This is just a Max and Olivia little like security bear baby blanket. This was only $1.49. These usually sell like $12 to $15. So again, not a huge sale, but easy to ship, easy to list. And it was a low enough price that I thought I would just grab it. Now this came from the thrift store where everything is half off. So this was $3 for the whole set. It's four placemats and four coasters. They're like vintage vinyl strawberry. So you have the coasters here and then the strawberry placemats. And this I just took a chance on. I'm not sure if they're vintage. I think they are. They're large pillow shams with like the ruffle end, but I thought the pattern was beautiful. I think these will photograph really nice. They don't have a brand um, that I could find anywhere, but they just have this beautiful like floral bird and butterfly pattern to them. I don't know. They kind of remind me of like anthropology <laughs> or pottery barn something like that, but these were only a dollar a piece. So they had this priced at $4. Um, and then of course it was half off of that. So $2 for the set, so a dollar each. So I thought I would take a chance on those. This was from Savers. I thought he was super interesting. He was $10, but I looked up comps and this is a, I think it's called Teddy Scare. Yeah, Teddy Scares. Teddy bar, teddy bear. I think this is like a book or comic book series, something like that. But these stuffed animals from Teddy Scares seem to have pretty decent comps on eBay. This is Hester Gollum, his um, deceased tag from the office of the coroner. So anyways, I'll let you guys read that. But yeah, if you open him up, I kind of did a little Google search because I wasn't familiar with teddy scares, but it's something to do with like teddy bears that are lost after 
you know, they're no longer played with or the kids don't want them anymore and they end up in like the dumpsters. And I don't know, I think they're like looking for love again or for their homes, but they're all mangled and kind of beat up, something like that. I honestly have no idea. This is just from my limited research. If you guys know more about it, you can let me know in the comments down below. But if you crack open his chest here, he's got a set of wonderful little cockroaches in there. Um, but yeah, these seem to have really good comps. So interesting. There's a whole bunch from this um, like book series or whatever. So keep an eye out for those if you ever see them. And these, okay, these I was really excited about. There was multiple tags on this one. I asked the lady if I could just have them all for $2.49 each, and she said that was fine because I think they all say $2.49. Yeah, they all say $2.49 except for one of them said $3.49. I think that sticker was supposed to be on there. But she gave them to me for $2.49 a piece, and these are vintage Fenton. They do have the Fenton marking on the bottom it's kind of hard to see like Fenton MMA glass it says 92 I don't know if that means they're from the 90s I'm oh there you, you might be able to see that one a little better so you can see like the little Fenton mark it's upside down um but yeah they're the stars and stripes glass pattern I found some of the taller tumblers that sold in an auction online with the matching picture but I could not see the sold price because it's hidden on this auction site and I'm not a member so I can't see it but um, I did find a few of the shorter style tumblers listed on eBay for over $200 for a set of four and I think it has like six watchers and then I found some individual sales of just a single glass like the shorter glass of this same pattern that sold I think they're selling around $35 a piece for just one glass um but again that's like the shorter version of these so I don't know I'm really excited I definitely think they're they were worth the $249 each I will probably just sell them as a set I need to clean them they're kind of dusty there is damage to one glass though and I thought about leaving it but then I decided I would just grab it because I wanted to have a set of four. <laughs> um, and I'll just include the small flaw. It's nothing major. But if you could see right here on the tip, there's a little tiny chip. Which I feel like for a collector, if you're just going to keep this on a shelf or something for display, that's not a big deal. If you were actually going to drink out of these though, that would probably not be a good idea to drink out of this one because of the little chip there. But... Yeah, I I just had a feeling these were good. I picked them up, put them in my cart, cart instantly. Okay, and then a couple more things. This I just grabbed for myself. I'm not sure if it has much resale value, but I think this is so darling. Um, this matches my kitchen decor perfectly. It's just a little gravy uh, pitcher. It was $10, which, I mean, that's a little more than I would have liked to pay, but for personal decor, I'm okay with that. I think it was worth it. I think... This color combo and these leaves are absolutely beautiful. And I am a sucker for like the studio pottery like this. There is an artist on the bottom. I cannot read the signature though, so I'm not sure what it says, but it is artist signed. And yeah, I absolutely love that. So I grabbed that for me. And then I also picked up this wood carved um, hand-painted Santa basket. He does have a little bit of damage here and there, but I kind of think that just kind of adds to the like vintage looking um, aesthetic to this. So this was $4.49 and I just love how this is like, it's not necessarily a handle, but it is kind of woven onto the basket here. Here's the back. And I just could not leave him behind. I just think he is so cool. Let me get, give you guys a close-up of his face. Really, really well done. And I did try to Google image search him and nothing popped up. So no idea what his value is, but I had to rescue him. I think somebody will absolutely love him. All right, so here is our shoe haul for the day. I know some of these you guys have already seen. 
these adorable vintage super tiny baby toddler like fat tongue vans these were four dollars so half off of eight they're in great condition i can't find any this tiny online so i think i'm gonna probably list these around thirty dollars i think they're definitely worth that they're super clean for their age and then i think you guys saw these thursday boots definitely a great brand to be on the lookout for um these usually sell between like 60 and 80 dollars but this is a very small size these are a women's size five um, but they are in excellent condition so i'm just not sure how fast they'll sell just because they are on the smaller size then we have the olakai shoes that i picked up for half off at that place so they were seven dollars half off of 14 and really really good condition I feel like I'm on a roll because I just found this brand for the first time last week. You guys probably saw that purse in my last haul video, the Stodd um, Brit leather and linen bucket bag. And then you guys, I found Stodd again, completely different thrift store. This was at Savers. The other one I found at Goodwill, these chunky pink platform leather sandals. Uh, these retail for like $370. These ones are pre-owned, but I think I'm going to list these probably around $100. they are a women's size 41, so probably like an 11, 10 and a half, 11. Definitely very like Barbie vibes with those. And then these Sorel boots, they're waterproof. I did look up this style. I can't remember what they're called right at, off the top of my head, but very good condition can see the tread women's size 11 on these as well so maybe they were donated by the same person and yeah very good condition i grabbed these this isn't a typical brand i grab very often but these look almost brand new and they are a newer style and it looks like they're selling pretty good on ebay i think these are brand new they look like they've never been worn um 11.79 they're a women's seven Bear Paw Platform Pink Sandals. And then these Coach Sandals with the floral print. Very cute. These had really decent comps as well and they're in pretty good shape. I'll wipe the bottoms down. Women's size nine. These Brooks, these are the Adrenaline GTS 23s, I believe. Love the colorway on these. These ones are a bigger size. They're a men's size 14. And then we have some Hoka Bondi 8s over there. Those always sell great. So that's a good model of Hoka's to be on the lookout for. These Mizuno Wave Rider 27s. I've been really enjoying selling Mizuno lately. It's been doing well for me. And then these A6 Gel Keanu 31s, which is the newest model of the Gel Keanos. So that was really exciting. They're a little dusty, but I'll get those cleaned up. But yeah, guys, that is the shoe haul for today. Did you inspect the shoes? Are they all good? Are the shoes good? Did we do a good job? Yeah. <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs>